Hi, I'm Dr. Philippe Godbeuch from Paris. Hemorrhoidal disease is a disease of the anus, which involves two physiological structures, external plexus and internal plexus, prevalent in about 40% of adults. In its acute phase, it's mainly characterized by pain and swelling. It tends to involve mostly external hemorrhoids and also internal hemorrhoids when they are prolapsed and thrombosed. Chronic symptoms include anal bleeding during defecation and prolapse. They usually only involve internal hemorrhoids. Risk factors for hemorrhoidal disease include hard stool, inadequate di dietary fiber, straining at stool, prolonged sitting on the toilets, obesity, age, pregnancy, childbirth, and sedentary lifestyles. Although the exact pathophysiology remain controversial, it's estimated that two mechanisms combine. The disease can be caused by direct mechanical injury to the anal cushions and vascular disorder, including stasis, vascular abnormality, and inflammation. Most patients don't require surgery or other procedure. Initial conservative treatments involve diet and lifestyle modifications, such as increasing fibers and food intake, increasing physical activity, and preventing constipation. Several venue-active drugs have been used to treat HD, but the clinical evidence for the efficacy of many of these treatments is unclear. However, one treatment that has shown clinical efficacy of the treatment of HD is micronized purified flavonoid fraction of MPFF. We perform a systematic review of the clinical efficacy of MPFF in the treatment of uh, HD. And my colleague, Professor Sheik, now will present to you the result of that study. Thank you, Philip. MPFF basically consists of micronized diospin and other flavonoids that have an anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and a venoprotective effect. The venoprotective effect is very important for us when we talk about the treatment in hemorrhoids. As you know, the main symptom in hemorrhoid is bleeding. And this venoprotective effect of MPFF basically helps in controlling the bleeding. MPFF has been studied in its use in acute hemorrhoids and also as an adjunct in patients who undergo a surgical procedure for hemorrhoids. We systematically searched the literature for studies of MPFF in hemorrhoidal disease, used either alone or in combination with other treatments or treatment modalities versus placebo or no treatment. A total of 61 publications were identified via search of Medline and Embase. Out of the 61, uh, only 17 publications were narrowed down, which fit in the inclusion, which fitted in our inclusion criteria. Several placebo controlled trials in patients with acute hemorrhoidal disease have shown that seven days treatment with MPFF is associated with a great improvement in the symptoms such as bleeding, pain, a reduction of the duration and intensity of episodes, and also a reduction in analgesic use. The most commonly used MPFF regime dose was 3000 milligram per day for the first four days, followed by 2000 milligram per day for the next three days. Not only in the acute stage, but research has shown that if MPFF is continued in a dose of 1000 milligram per day for the next 60 to 90 days, there is significant reduction in the relapse of bleeding. So all the patients who are at risk of relapse of bleeding, uh, this regime can be used for the next 60 to 90 days. Also MPFF has been studied as an adjunct to surgery or other procedures for hemorrhoids. In patients who underwent hemorrhoidectomy, five to seven days of MPFF treatment reduce the post-operative bleeding and pain, facilitating a return to normal activity and also 
improving their quality of life. MPFF also had clinical benefits in terms of symptomatic relief, where it was used along with either an infrared coagulation or stereotherapy. All these positive findings have confirmed in the recent meta-analysis, which was published in Advances in Therapy in 2000, where the role of MPFF was investigated. Thus, overall, MPFF has a good safety profile which appears to be similar to that of a placebo, and also a statistically significant improvement in the symptoms of hemorrhoid that we see. Thank you, Philip. Thank you, Professor Sheikh. Uh, our review show that there is a significant body of evidence to support the use of MPFF in the treatment of acute hemorrhoids, and as an adjunct to surgical and non-surgical procedure for HD. In fact, many national treatment guidelines endorse the use of MPFF in patients with hemorrhoidal disease. These include major guidelines from France, Russia, India, and the US. In our opinion, in a validated way, the MPFF treatment has its place in all grades of the disease in combination with diet and lifestyle modification. It has been shown to work and be well tolerated. It's a first line treatment sufficient mainly in grade one or two of HD or as an adjunct to surgery or office procedure, which are usually performed in patients with grade two, three or four hemorrhoidal disease. Thank you very much for your attentions and to have watched this video and thank you for Professor Sheikh 